Happy Friday, Liberty North, and welcome back to KNET. We have a jam-packed show for you today. Why are you going to tell us a little about the hot weather? I am. It's 70-degree weather coming into our forecast for the upcoming baseball games this future week. Speaking of baseball, I'll have an interview with some baseball players about the game tonight. That's right, I will, Ryan. Let's get the show started. Your net news starts now. now. If you want to be a student ambassador next year, applications are in the counseling department right now. Student ambassadors do tons of activities through the year to make everyone at North feel welcome. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, head on down and grab your application. Sophomores, don't forget that Jostens will be here Wednesday, April 2nd at 12.15 p.m. to deliver your class rings, so be sure to pick them up. Liberty North cheer tryouts will be April 8th through the 11th, and they will have clinics April 8th through the 10th at LNHS from 5 to 6. The actual tryout will be April 11th at North from 5 to 8, and there's an informational meeting at North on April 3rd starting at 7.30. If you have any questions, please look for the flyers around the school or on the cheer website. Don't forget that today is the last day of the week to study in the LMC during Eagle Hour, and you don't need your gold pass this week, so go on down and enjoy the quiet study environment. Don't forget to check your email for the top five announcements from the guidance office. Also, the AUP, also known as the Technology Use Agreement, has, has been signed by two-thirds of all Eagles. Thank you to your advisory teachers. Beginning this Friday, the students who have not signed their agreement will receive an email asking them to accept the policy. If you receive an email asking you to sign electronically, please do so. Failure to do so could result in your technology access being temporarily suspended. Suspended. Please see Ms. King in the LMC for additional information. Are you ready for some dodgeball? Stuco will be holding the first annual Dodgeball Invitational on Thursday, April 10th. It is only $5 a person and teams consist of 10 people. Sign up at lunch to partake in the biggest competition to ever take place in the Fieldhouse. That's all we have for your announcements today. Let's send it over to Wyatt with a look at weather. Hey there guys, currently we are looking at 39 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Later on around game time for the baseball boys, we're going to be looking at 50 degrees. So come on out and support the team. Tomorrow, however, we look at about 59 degrees and sunny skies. And Sunday, we move back into the 70s with a high of 73. That's all I have for you guys today. Ryan, what's happening in the world of sports? Well, Wyatt, last night the Lady Eagles soccer team traveled to Staley to take on the Falcons. It was a close game throughout, but they were able to come away with the one nothing win. Caroline Gomez gave the winning goal to the Eagles. Krogi and Thompson recorded the shutout, so congratulations, ladies. The Liberty North Eagles golf team placed third at the Winnetonka Northland Invitational on Wednesday, firing a team score of three, 381. Drew Nurberg shot an 18-hole score of 89 and earned a medal, placing for the top 10, so congratulations to him and the whole team. Tonight, the baseball boys take on North Kansas City at home, 5 o'clock. Nick Janess has a fellow Ryan over there for an interview, so Nick, take it away. Thank you, Ryan. That's right. I am here with Ryan. Ryan, you play baseball. Tell us about the preparation for this season. Well, we started back in January, and we had about 70 guys show up, and we just worked hard then. We've kind of carried that over into the season. Speaking of the season, I know you guys have had some success so far, and you've had a couple games. Tell us how they've gone. You had some games that were spring break. We played the number three and number one team in the state and beat the number three team, and then we also beat the district champions from last year. So it started out pretty well. And you guys have a very big senior class with a lot of experience. How does that benefit the team? I think that the seniors kind of come in knowing their role, and so there's not a lot of time that we have to figure that out, and we just come in playing together already. So. All right, and uh, you guys, what is your expectation for the year? Where would you like to see, where would you like to see it go? With this big group of seniors, we kind of want to send them off the right way, so we want to take it further than we ever have before and just send them out the right way. All right, well, you guys are doing great so far. Good luck. I know you guys play tonight. Where do you play and what time? We're at home against North Kansas City, and it starts at 5. All right, head on out to the baseball game to cheer on the guys. Back to you guys. Thank you, Nick, and good luck to the baseball boys tonight. That's all we got for you guys to show today. We'll see you back here again next week. Catch you on the north side. Good.